Do all things without grumbling or disputing. We don't often think of grumbling as a sin, but Paul says do all things without grumbling. There's no wiggle room in this. And and the problem with grumbling is somebody who grumbles does not believe that God is good. Why not? Because if we believe that God was good and that God takes good pleasure in, in transforming us into the likeness of His Son, if we really believe that, then we would see these things that we like to grumble about as gifts from Him for our sanctification. A grumbler can't see God at work, a good God at work in those situations. And the problem is when that internal troll kind of gets a hold of our heart for too long, it goes from grumbling to disputing, and now we have leapt from an internal to an external troll, right? Right? What's disputing? Well, it's when all of a sudden this grumbling comes out and this complaining turns into an argument with somebody else. It's like Twitter fights and fights with your family and fights with your kids and fights with the people at work. And what happens is we're going to have conflict. The question is, are we going to treat the conflict as a follower of Jesus, a citizen of the gospel, or are we going to do it as a complainer and a disputer? And by holding on to Jesus and remembering what Jesus did without grumbling and disputing when he went to the cross for us, we're able to live that kind of life as a light in our world, and we are a giant blinking arrow pointing at Jesus. 